diagnostic centre value was £4.8 million um, and it will serve Somerset and the surrounding areas. So we're currently working on uh, the completion of the project. We got practical completion. So the project here was the redevelopment of a former fire control centre, um, which was built in 2006. Uh, we've redeveloped it into a diagnostic centre for uh, medical diagnostics, which will be serving Somerset and uh, the surrounding areas. Um, what they do here, they'll be uh, scanning uh, patients with CT scanners, MRIs, ultrasound and X-ray. Uh, we started the project in December last year uh, and complete uh, earlier this month, two weeks ahead of schedule. And the client's delighted and we're looking at uh, developing a further scheme up on the, uh, the first floor and hopefully uh, we will be you know, pole position on their framework for years to come. Uh, we've effectively gutted the ground floor, uh, we then built up the slabs. Uh, there was a hell of a lot of services that we had to bring down through the building and around the building to serve the ground floor. Some specialist equipment such as medical gases, um, various nurse school systems, uh, there's uh, chilled water serving the MRI, um, vent high spec ventilation. We had to fit that in very tight spaces within the, an existing building. So the design um, and the installation, builders work, etc., is very complicated throughout. Um, so we went through a long stage of uh, first fix with the, the mechanical and electrical and the dry liners, uh, and then quite a quick fit out stage towards the end. Um, so it, all in all, we probably you know delivered the fit out in the best part of three to four months. Um, which was excellent and the, the quality is uh, really good with the clients over the moon and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, move on to the next phase. Uh, my role was looking after the M&E for the project, so uh, really just trying to fit air handling for MRI, CT and the main building along with all the electrical into very restricted ceiling space was the main challenge. Covid wasn't so much of a challenge for us, we were very fortunate because we had up and down staircases already and we, we were able to segment pretty easily. Uh, it's my first project working with Keir and I've been fortunate enough to work with uh, Daryl and Barry who have been just incredible, um, really supportive and I've uh, learned a huge amount from both of them. Look forward to the next one. I think uh, what's made me proud about the project is the way that we work together with the client. Uh, coming to the end of it, we've delivered ahead of schedule uh, with the, the client. I've just read their customer satisfaction and. We did pretty well and we're going out for dinner with them on Thursday so we must have done the work. Start off with it's a JCT contract, um, one in single stage tender uh, in competition. Um, we 50% of the value was M&E with Totus. Um, pretty much across the board uh, local supply chain uh, other than the lead supplier, which is a bit of a specialist supplier from up north. So the MRI scanner was uh, supplied by the client. Uh, it was a crucial date in the in the program um, where we had to hand over a section of the building while still working in the rest of the building so they could get all their, their kit in. We actually managed to do that two weeks before their initial date uh, as we accelerated the program. Ultimately, we've had our uh, customer satisfaction survey back and we're getting tens everywhere. Uh, and the client are here today and they're ecstatic with the building they've got. Uh, so the team on this project have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'd love to work with all of them again. So the success of this project is really a testament to how the team have come together. Um, and that's the supply chain through to uh, the Gateman, Martin, uh, right away through to, to Barry and Joel. And I'm proud to have had them as part of my team. Uh, and you know we've all been driven towards the the goals of uh, delivering it safely on time uh, and ultimately to a fantastic quality. We're really pleased with how we've been able to transform this building from what was a dormant structure covered in moss and algae into something which is a new shiny state-of-the-art facility which is ultimately going to serve the the public um, well in years to come.